Hey, Rocket City RV are here today. Going to give a little uh, uh, overview of what we plan on working on today. Uh, as I've uh, talked about in previous videos, we're going to be deconstructing the cabinets for the install of the uh, Fiora Projection Microwave. Uh, and then I picked up some wood over here, uh, some poplar cabinet grade wood that we're going to rebuild those cabinets with. Also, going to be working on 12 volts and 120 volt uh, power. Uh, for multiple items today. So we're gonna do a time warp for all that. Uh, hope you enjoy Hey, uh, just a little tip here for those people doing wiring um, Some people uh, make this mistake all the time When you are bringing power to an item, especially in a car in a in a camp or whatever you're doing And you're using these crimp on connectors like this always swap the ends uh, as you'll see the on the cooktop here where it needs power to power up the little blue lights I have put the There's no power on this side. This is the power that receives power. This is the side that receives power. So always put the uh, Covered the covered end With the enclosed so that it can't touch anything or anything like that. That's it's just a it's just a common practice for me is to do that and uh, also I uh, I don't get any money for this, but these uh, crimpers, these ratcheting crimpers for doing uh, crimp on connectors like this, I got these off Amazon. Again, I, they don't pay me a dime, to, to, but these things work fantastic. They make a solid crimp. Uh, never had one come off. Uh, you know, the normal just hand pressed crimpers, they always tend to have a problem where they pull right off and you don't get them crimped properly. This is it's a perfect crimp every time I have seen at least um, so uh, basically it's like any other crimper ratcheted down a little put a little strength into it and boom and that's not going to come off looks really good and like I said your power side of this or the hot side or the plus side of this excuse me this is 12 volt power the plus side of this is protected so that if it happens to touch something to ground it uh, won't be a problem just a little tip there
Hey, we are about to wrap it up today. We've got a lot accomplished, I mean, my brother and I. Um, I'm gonna give you a little uh, overview of what we've accomplished today. Uh, so, as you can see, we're, we brought all the tools to bear, but we, we didn't really get to, and we've got the fascia of the cabinets out. We're gonna, got a bunch of stuff taken out. Uh, a lot, of, a lot accomplished today, though. Um, we have removed uh, all the upper cabinets. We were looking at potentially modifying them and using the, those cabinets, but it, as it turns out, they just you're it just doesn't it wasn't going to work out. So um, we have we took them all out. And we've got our template back and that is ultimately the location of where the fuel round convection microwave is going to be located now we've marked that and done measurement 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 that's kind of what you need to do uh, we got the power for the microwave repositioned it was not a big deal we took the 12 volt which is 12 volt is for this light right here and it actually comes out of the ceiling and we tied all that back together uh, we pulled off this GFCI plug here, which is being used for a uh, coffee maker, at least in this RV. And we now have um, 120 volt power for the dishwasher that runs through that G GFCI circuit. And we also have 12 volt power for the new cooktop uh, little blue lights on the cooktop which don't really serve a purpose other than just be blue lights but they look kind of cool uh and i guess a big thing which i should have pointed out when i was up here is we actually drill that hole that was not that was not easy and we've already tested and the duct work will fit through there with no problem so making progress uh i always would like to have uh, accomplish a little bit more today maybe get some of the uh, reinforcing put up to mount that microwave but hey I think we did did good with what we had to work with and some of the challenges we had getting wires to the wall and things like that uh, anyway so uh, that's it a lot accomplished uh, it's probably gonna be about um, probably a week or so before I can uh, make another video and show some progress because uh, I got some other things going on but uh, keep 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 uh posted and and if you like this video like and subscribe hey thanks this is rocket city rv or